Hi there. In this video, I'm just going to quickly show you how to do bivariate mapping, so a thematics. So that's where I'm, I'm effectively using uh, two fields, two values, to alter the style, color, the, the, the um, size of uh, this geometry. In this case, they're, they're stars, they represent um, little cinemas in the UK, here in Cornwall. And I've made up some data. This isn't um, some of it's real. Um, there, they are, there are some actual cinemas there. Um, but um, I, as far as seating and rating is concerned, I've made up these two values. So seating is a sort of idea of how many seats they've got. So this is completely random. That's generated by a random uh, number generator. And rating is the same. So rating is like one to ten. So how good it is. So if it's got a ten, it's uh, it's got some kind of rating. Um, but it's like I said, it's made up. Those those aren't. Um, Real. And this time you can just select point ranges varying size, sizes. There's actually a few ways to do bivariates, but um, this is one of them. Um, point ranges varying size. So click next. And of course, this time we're selecting rating. Press next. Uh, and then we get a default sort of symbol here um, of uh, uh, just showing the size change really, and we can we can we can uh, change that. And um, uh, but but that's all, all you're doing. And one thing about here is it's saying replace layer style. Okay, that's that's key. Press OK. So we go to add. So we go to add thing. Point uh, varying point ranges varying size. And this time it's on rating. So it's my other value. And here we're looking at, we can see what it's broken it down to. So rating is maximum 10 there, you see. Um, and um, lower, um, sort of 0, 0 to 3 is the lower range. And there's 11 in that group. Let's click on styles. Um, and the sort of auto spread uh, I, I'm interested in is just on the, the size. You can um, see how that's. Uh, all um, calculated there um, and I'm only applying the size um, that's all I'm interested in and the, the, you can see when I, when I click there you go so there's the stars and I click on each one so that's good but make sure it's applied just to, to the size press and replace layer style press OK press OK and now you can see um, what we've got here let's get rid of the legend um, you can see how um, we've got two things going on. So here's a little star just this there. Let's zoom out a bit just to show you the rest of the map. You can see it's, um, you can see all the changes in size, uh, but also it's got color. Let's just zoom back into Cornwall. And let's just um, see what's really happened here in the visualization. So if I click on, um, let's go back to info tool. So for example, this one, uh, this is red, but it should have um, uh, so quite a high seating and a, a pretty decent rating. So yes, yeah, so it's rating seven and high. But this one must have a low rating, but still quite high seating. Yeah, yeah look, it's only one, but it's still 146, which is quite high seating. So they, there you go. Um, like I said, those seating and rating numbers are just made up. But that is how you can do bivariate maps, uh, bivariate thematics in Map Info Pro. I hope you find that useful. Thank you.